Hey everybody, it's Jen with Two Sister Bees. Today's video is going to be for our newbies. For real? Yes, those of you that are new to budgeting, new to cash stuffing, not sure where to begin or if you're doing it right, this video is for you. So stick around and let's see what we've got going on. Okay, and this is where we all get super excited. We are going to change our lives in 2023, right? Yes, you are. And I'm gonna help you do it. Okay, that's cool. So how many of you watch our channel and other channels on YouTube and think, wow, they make that look so easy. But then your next thought is, I don't make as much money as they do. There is no way that I can do that. Or you think things like, I'm too far gone. I am so far into debt. Nothing's ever gonna change. This is just my life now. Or you think that your partner will never get on board with you, that you will be in this alone and if you're the only one trying to save money, it's never gonna pan out. Wow, boo freaking hell. Or you may think this is all just too confusing. How in the world do these people know how much money to take out of the bank? How do they know how much to put in each envelope? How do they know what to name the envelopes? So many questions. Believe me, I know because I was there only about 10 months ago. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I started, what I did, every single little step to get you started. So like I said, let's get excited, you guys. Let's do this. Okay, you guys, it all seems so confusing and you're not sure where to begin because you have no plan. I know this because I've been there. Oh. Is, how, how, how? I have lived paycheck to paycheck. I was going into debt and borrowing money that I did not have because I was living paycheck to paycheck. I drove the unreliable car that made noises and had to take random fluids to keep it on the road. I was going to pawn shops and using payday advances to pay my bills on time. My gas tank was always low, you guys. I would ride around town like this, just please let me make it to where I need to go. This is a terrible way to live. You will always feel stressed out and you will always feel like there is no getting out of it. So what do we do? The only way to get out of this paycheck to paycheck cycle is to start living below your means. Crap. That is the only way that this is going to work. And how do we figure out how to get ourselves to live below our means? I, I'm, I don't follow. It is super simple math, you guys. Some addition and subtraction. I don't follow. Is coming up. You've got to get your bank statements for the last three months and your credit card statements if you're using them also for the last three months. Not one month, three months. I know it sounds tedious and it is. <laughs> Not going to lie to you, but it's worth it. Believe me. So print those out. Go do that. Okay, so we've got them. Now what? So what you wanna do is take your time. This could possibly take you up to a week. I think it took me about five or six days myself. Make sure that when you are writing your categories that they make sense to you. I actually had to redo mine a couple times because I was combining things that shouldn't have been combined. It just started to get a little out of whack. So just make sure that the categories make sense to you. Try to keep them as simple as possible. You know, your bills, your gas, your groceries, your medical your takeout food, things like that. Just try to keep it as simple as possible and make sure that it makes sense to you. You wanna be as accurate as you can. There's going to be some things that you don't remember. It was three months ago. Sometimes we don't remember what we did two weeks ago. So it's gonna be a little difficult. Do your best, that is all you can do and try to be as accurate as possible. It's better than what you have now, which is no idea what you're spending. So. Keep that in mind when you're doing this. You're doing something for your future self and it will be worth it. You may need to make what I called my side list. I had random purchases, purchases that were made only one time, things that I was not that I do not buy every single month. So those required a list all their own and when I was done, I realized that that was a category that I needed to work on and doing different things with that, maybe saving up for these things or not buying them at all. So side lists our category all their own. Make sure you are very honest during this process. If you can involve your partner, great. If not, don't worry about it. Fine. We are not all on the same timeline, right? When I first started this, Jason was not thrilled with me. He didn't want to have anything to do with it because he knew that what was coming up was tightening the belt and he didn't want to do that. So sometimes your partner is not going to be on board right away. Do it anyway. Here are my bank statements. This is when I started my journey 
And these are all of my Wells Fargo statements over the year. This is where I print, highlight, categorize, and track all of my spending. This is all of 2022. It's a lot of work, you guys, I know, but you'll be glad you did it. Okay, so now that we have our categories and we know our true, true spending, your mind was probably blown, right? I know mine was. I could not believe how much extra money I was spending. The good part about that is now you know you have somewhere to save. These things are very easy to minimize or eliminate altogether. This is the easy part. Wait, what? The hard part would be if you added all of this up and you realize that you are not really overspending and you're still in the negative. Oh no. If that's the case, been there too. This is what you have to do. You've got to start making big life changes. Nobody likes change, I know that. Sure. Yeah, nobody wants that. But if you are finding yourself in the red every month, that is way more stressful than changing some things around to make your life and your family's life a little bit easier. When I was in this situation, I did things like got a better job, big change, but it, it really worked out for me. I, did, I changed jobs. I got a job that I did not think I was even qualified for, but in the end, I ended up working there for over a decade and it was the best decision I ever made. The other thing you could do is you could start selling things online or locally on Facebook Marketplace. Go through your closets, go through your garage, go through your basement, go through your attic, go through it all. Cupboards, drawers, closets, clean them out. You'll be shocked at how much money you can make off of your extra stuff. Do you have an empty room in your house? Rent it out. Whoa, she really is crazy. I know, that sounds super drastic, right? Guess what, I was one of those renters. I had an apartment that I could not afford and I started renting a room and living with two guys that I had never met before. Everyone thought I was absolutely insane, but you know what, it's what I had to do to continue to live below my means and take care of myself and my daughter. We have to do the hard things. You're right, yeah. you're right. So in future videos, I can start to talk with you guys about how to make more money and save more money. But for now, I did want to touch on the two different situations that someone may find themselves in that is giving them that anxiety of I can never save money. Okay, so now that we know what our spending is and we're trying to keep our spending under control, that's the most important part, <laughs> now we wanna see what our actual budget is. This is a freebie. You can get this in the description below. Just click on the link and you'll see our free printables. This is one of them. And on this, you will be able to write down your income, your living expenses, how much credit and debt you have going out, your essentials go over here. And this makes it a lot easier to do that simple math to see where you are at the end of each pay period, whether it's weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, doesn't matter. This is a perfect tool to use to see your income on one side and then your true budget on the other side, not your wants, not things that you are, you know, take out and DoorDash and Amazon purchases, what you truly need to survive. Put that on this piece of paper. Okay, Jen, let's get to the fun part. What about these binders? First of all, you don't necessarily need a binder or the fancy envelopes to get started. When I first started, I was using the smaller envelopes that you buy, not the business size, just the regular small ones. Cash fits in there perfectly. And then you can just write on the front whatever it is you are saving up for. Okay, so using the income and expenses sheet, I'm going to do a mock budget for you guys. This will be somebody who gets paid weekly and makes $600 a week. So let's start with that. So my rent is $600 a month. How? 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 <laughs> which means I have to have $150 per week set aside. I'm going to write out the rest of my bills. Okay, so my car is 280 a month. That would be $70 a week. Utilities are running me about 125 a month, so that would be $32 a week. Car insurance, 55 a month, so let's say 14 a week. My phone bill is 70 a month, so that would be 18 per week. I have a Chase credit card that's $30 a month, $8 a week, and I have a Capital One card that's $45 a month, so I'll put away $12 a week. Gas, noticing it runs me about $200 a month, so that's $50 a week. 
groceries. I'm going to say I use $300 a month in groceries, so that's $75 per week. Household, $100 a month, $25 a week. And my pet is $70 a month, costing me $18 per week. So let's add all this up and see where I'm at. Okay, I am left with $128 per week for incidentals and or savings. So let's write that I have $128 a week left. Okay, so instead of spending that $128 on takeout food or Starbucks coffee or a sweater at the mall, things that we've been buying, we've now decided we're going to start putting away for an emergency fund. We want $1,000 saved up. And we also want to start paying on the principal of our car to get it paid down quicker. These are things that actually matter, right? This will be so much better than having a new sweater. Good. Fine, fine, fine. So let's write down here that we want to start the emergency fund. And we want to start paying a little extra on our car. So with $128 left per week, I wouldn't want to get too crazy here. I would say that maybe for the emergency, you could do an extra $10 a week. And for the car, maybe an extra $20 a week. That's going to end up being $40 a month for your emergency fund and $80 a month towards your car. And that leaves you with $98 and I think that starting out with one or two envelopes is probably your best bet. You don't want to get too overwhelmed with a bunch of envelopes and a bunch of cash and you'll end up giving up. So start really, really small with just a couple things that you want to start saving for. Something that I used to do when I was in the situation like this where I wasn't left with a whole lot of money at the end of the week, another thing you could do is you could leave yourself a little bit of a buffer in your checking account. Let's say that you want to leave $20 in there, so that would give you $108 for the week. You could take that cash out of the bank and put it in this envelope and then start a running tab up here and start paying cash for those little ding that you do to yourself over the week. So here I started with my $108, I stopped at Starbucks, I went to eat out and I got my nails done. So that leaves me with $35 in my envelope for the week. So if I get paid on Friday and I'm down to $35 by Monday, this is what I have until I get paid on Friday. This will really limit you on what you are spending throughout the week because you will see it and you are holding it in your hands and when it is gone, it is gone. So starting out with just three envelopes can make such a big difference later on. How great would it feel to have a thousand dollar emergency fund just in case something happened and you would be prepared for it? Awesome. So what if you're like me and you are just a variable spender, which is 100% what I was doing. I was spending money on things that I did not need to be spending money on. We had enough to cover our bills, but it was all that extra spending that was killing me. So what you could do is say over the last three months when you did your categorizing, you saw that on Amazon, everyone's favorite, on month one, you spent a total of $300. Month two, you spent a total of $425. And month three, you spent a total of $215. Okay, so let's add those up. That is $940 that you spent in three months. So the average would be $313 per month you have been spending on Amazon crap, right? We all do it. So what you could do is take this $313 per month. And if you got paid weekly, we would divide it by four. So that's $78 per week. You could now take the $78 per week, eliminate Amazon, obviously, right? Get rid of your Amazon spending for 30 days. Try the no spend challenge. Just don't do it. Take that $78 a week, click our link in the description below where it says free printables and start doing some savings challenges. These are fun games that you can play and they are obviously all very different with different amounts 
for any budget and start putting that $313 a month into a savings challenge. Have some fun with it. Okay, you guys, this is what I want you to take from this video. You have to chill, be, it's okay. You are definitely on the right track. You've made a plan to categorize your spending, figure out where you can save, or you've thought about ways that you can make some extra cash to save. You've got your budget sheet filled out so you know your real numbers. Now it's time to make your adjustments and start using that money to get that emergency fund that you've been wanting to get going or to start paying down that credit card that is just getting on your nerves. Get rid of it. Start with one or two envelopes. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't forget to click below for all of our free printables. It keeps it fun and keeps it more interesting for you to save your money with. If you're not a subscriber to Two Sister Bees, now is the time to hit the button over here in the corner and be a subby. We've got our cash stuffing videos, our savings challenge videos, budgeting videos, and we've got some more newbie tips coming your way. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.